There have been mixed reactions to the rejection of a constitutional amendment bill by Ghana's parliament to change the date for the country's upcoming elections. The bill, which failed to garner the required 184 votes, was aimed at changing the dates for the presidential and parliamentary elections from December 7 to November 7. But the main opposition, New Patriotic Party, which said it agreed in principle to a change of dates for the general elections, withdrew its support for the bill during the vote in parliament, citing a shortage of time. Even if you did the amendment, for the presidential date, you need to go with a constitutional instrument. The constitutional instruments must lie in Parliament for 21 working days, which means the whole of August. Parliament is rising on the 29th of July. So getting Parliament to even uh, sit for the whole of August for the CI on the presidential election to pass is a problem. The ruling National Democratic Congress has in turn accused the opposition New Patriotic Party of sabotaging the bill. It's not the EC that tried to plant the date change on political parties. Rather, it's political parties that engaged and convinced the EC. And the EC bought into it. And the MPP has been part of the process. To the extent that when the EC did what he had to do by pushing the legislation to parliament, at the subsidiary legislation committee level, the MPP was heavily involved. It is rather surprising that on the floor of the house, then they choose to ambush the whole process and then create the impression as if they have never been part of the process. A political scientist with the University of Ghana, Dr. Ransford Jampo, condemned Parliament's partisan approach to the bill and also faulted the Electoral Commission for not starting the process earlier. Waiting till um, the dying minutes of election period and then running a crash program. It creates an unnecessary suspicion that you want to um, rush, through pe rush people through things and then you want to smuggle things you know, in electoral processes in a manner that may not you know, favor some of the parties. Parliament's rejection of the proposed amendment means Ghana's general elections will go ahead in December and not in November as anticipated.